Hello and welcome to the latest Fellside Reflection. Well, there's no doubt about it. After the news that we had at the weekend of the country going back into lockdown, no doubt that many of us watching this will be thoroughly down in the dumps. And I must admit, I'm feeling a bit fed up about it all myself as well. And uh, I just need to be honest about that. And it seems that in the news since and every day, certainly when I pick up a newspaper, it seems to be um, full of interviews with scientists and medical people who are saying that the advice that the government is being given by their team is not right and that there is a, another way around lockdown and another way of doing things. And their arguments all seem good and valid. And there's those many thousands of medics and scientists around the world who signed the great Barrington report. And then we hear in the news also of members of parliament who, when it comes to the vote in parliament about lockdown, are going to oppose that and are not going to vote for lockdown because they too are saying there's other ways that this COVID pandemic can be handled. And it all makes, does it not, for very distressing news. And we can so easy, easily begin to, to feel really, really down in the dumps and ask where is it all going to end? Because we have a group of scientists saying one thing and another group of scientists says another. We don't need to go into lockdown. We can do things in a different way and it's all very confusing and it's all very depressing to say the least and there's so much uh, bad news that is around i do have a bible reading for us but uh, more of that um, in a moment and it seems that everywhere i turn just lately it's bad news and uh, no doubt about it, 2020 has been such a depressing year, an awful year, not just with the COVID, but with other issues as well. So, for example, in my own family, I think many of you watching this will know that uh, during lockdown, my sister was diagnosed uh, with cancer and her mother-in-law, uh, my brother-in-law's mum, uh, died last week and the funeral takes place next week. There's an elderly family friend who fell at home and spent half the night on the floor and he's been in hospital ever since. He's been there for quite a few weeks now and it's all a very depressing picture. And then it seems just lately that um, wherever I go in the team, in the Fellside team, people are saying, have you heard about such a body and uh, there's so many people who seem to be getting uh, bad news members of the family getting covid um, people getting uh, a bad diagnosis health wise and so on and it just seems these days that uh, no matter where i turn it's all doom and gloom whether it's news around the parishes of the fellside team whether it's the news in my own family or whether it's the national news and those things that I referred to at the beginning of this little talk. And then to cap it all, over the weekend, um, one of the younger members in our family, still at primary school, um, says that uh, she's not very happy with God because he's created COVID. And a reasoning behind that is she's ob obviously been listening in assembly at school and uh, hearing creation about God as creator and that God as creator is behind everything. So the logic in a young mind was uh, seems to be going along the lines of, well, if God's the creator, if he's behind everything, then he's made COVID as well. And she's not very happy with him at all right now. And of course, many adults feel like that as well and, uh, and blame God for, for many, many things. And so with that rather 
depressing introduction, let's turn to our Bible reading. And you may recall in the 60s and the 70s, well, those of you who are a certain age may recall, there was a very popular American group called The Birds. And they had big hit records like Mr. Tambourine Man. And another one that they had was called Turn, 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 in brackets, A Season for Everything. And uh, that record basically took the reading from the Bible that I'm going to read to you now. And its lyrics was these verses. So, here we go. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, beginning at verse 1 and reading to verse 8. Everything has its time. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to throw away. A time to tear, and a time to sow. A time to keep silence, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. And so, I just want to draw your attention to that one verse from that passage, a time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to weep and a time to laugh. And there's no doubt, I think, that with the news of the latest lockdown, it is a time to weep. And by that, I mean that we give ourselves permission to grieve, to feel a little bit down in the dumps. It's okay. And to question and to ask God, what is going on? When are we going to have an end to it all? And as it so wisely puts it there in the book of Ecclesiastes, a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance. And there are times in life when we weep, we mourn, we're sad, we're unhappy. And I think the news of the last few days um, makes most of us feel that way, that we are indeed in this time of weeping and mourning. And we wonder when it will all end. But there is an important side to all this as well. Because as people of faith, then surely we don't have all the answers, but we can have a peace that transcends the world's understanding. And so this verse from John chapter 14, and beginning verse 27, and Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. We have the peace of the Lord himself. And as I say, we don't have all the answers certainly in these days of the pandemic, which group of scientists are right, which of them are wrong, which medics are right, which of them are wrong. We don't have all the answers, but we can have a peace that passes the world's understanding, the peace of the Lord of Lords himself. And that is important, I think, in these days of sadness and mourning and grieving and wondering where on earth it will all end. 
to grasp hold of that peace of the Lord and to hang on to that. And I don't know about yourself that which, um, when news of this lockdown came, but uh, myself and Deborah decided that we would do a couple of things. That we would go out and have a meal before places began to shut again towards the end of the week. And uh, Thursday, tomorrow, if you're watching this, on the Wednesday is, of course, bonfire night. And quite simply, we're going to make a potato pie. We're going to go outside to eat it. I'm going to make a fire in one of those metal garden bins that uh, you burn the rubbish in. And um, we're just going to enjoy ourselves in that way, uh, to cheer ourselves up with the news that we've been given. And that's such a simple thing to do. Sorry, I can't invite you round. Um, we're in lockdown, or we will be by that time. But um, I just want to encourage you with that if there's some little thing that you can do to cheer yourself up. It may be such a simple thing like I've just described. And sometimes it's those simple things, is it not, that we need a reminder of. And sometimes we hear someone else say it and think, why on earth did I not think of that? So can I encourage you to think of something positive to do, something that you will enjoy doing, and something that will really lift your spirits. Whether it's making a potato pie, making a little fire, or whatever it is that's right for you. And so yes, as our passage told us, there's a time for joy, there's a time for laughter, there's a time for crying, there's a time for joy. And I think no doubt that we're in that season of weeping and mourning now. But uh, perhaps there's some little positive thing that you can think of that will lift your spirits. And then a reminder of that promise of Jesus. My peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. So again, we don't have all the answers. But we have a peace that transcends the world's understanding. And it's in these days that we claim promises such as that and we claim the peace of the Lord for ourselves in no doubt very difficult and trying days. We claim that promise, the peace of the risen Lord himself. And so, until the next time, as always, bye for now.